The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. You are welcome to this distant learning session. I am Fotabon Doreen Sifa, a clothing industry teacher. I will be taking you through on fashion drawing upper seats. Before we went home last week, we had an assignment. Today we'll be looking at the correction of that assignment. I would like you to put up your books. Put your books on a table so that we can do the correction of this assignment together. Are we there? Let us do our correction. Which are the areas to lay emphasis when drawing a female figurine? Which are those areas that we have to lay emphasis on when we are drawing our female figurine? When we are drawing our figurine, we have to lay emphasis on the head of the figurine, on the, 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 the fingers of the figurine. Right now, we are going to see the, the, the head and its features. The head of the figurine, we are, see the, we are looking now, we see the profile view. And the way the hairs are arranged on the profile view head is different from the way the hairs are arranged on the front view, as you can see them. We have also the three-quarter view face and we have the way the hairs are arranged. When you look at the face and the hairs, it is not the same. It is not the same way the front view hairs are arranged. So the different heads have their different features. Why? When you look at them, you can see how beautiful they are. The head positioning and fingers. Looking at the fingers and the and the hands, sorry. Look how when you shape the fingers, they look attractive. The different position of the hands show you the way you have to shape them. We also have the trunk. The trunk of our figurine is what you are seeing, and it depends on the way it is positioned. Like you have the front, the front view the trunk of the front view, that of the profile view, and the three-quarter view. The way the trunk is presented, either it is profile view, the, the shaping will be different. The shaping of the trunk of the profile view is quite different from that of the front view, and also very different from that of the three-quarter view. From the trunk, we are moving to the legs of the figurine. And we're looking at the different legs and their positions. You can look at how the different legs are positioned and the way they are also shaped. You can see that some of the legs are widely open. The legs are widely open, some are a little bit close, depending on the position of the figurine. So the position of the figurine is very, very important. The way you stand is the way you are supposed to shape your legs. So if you stand in the, in the uh, three-quarter view form, 
That's how you are going to shave your legs in order to show how your body looks three quarter when it is shaved. So we are going to enter into our lesson proper and we are going to look at the plan of our lesson. Here we have the learning outcome, we have the prerequisite, we have the real life situation, we have introduction, method of drawing figurines, how to find out the proportions, proportions through table of measurement. The method of drawing the figurine. When drawing the figurine, we have different methods that we follow. If it is the front view, the method that we use in shaping the front view is different. Even the construction is also different. Getting the proportions of a figurine is another learning outcome. When you get the proportions, you make your figurine to look attractive. We present your figurine, make it to look well uh, responsible when you clothe it, to make it fit very well. We have measurement chart on a table of proportions. All these figurines, the profile view, the front view, and the three-quarter view have their different measurement charts. And the shaping of these figurines are also different because the various shapes are different. Before we begin, state the different types of figurines you know. I would like us to state the different types of figurines that we know. We have come about so many uh, figurines. Even while we are here in class, some of you are sitting, while some are standing. Those of you who are going outside, you are walking. So there are different ways, different figures. I want us to state them. Here you can see a seated figurine. Those of you sitting, you are sitting, which means it's a seated figurine. You have a bent figurine. You happen to stand up and you're about to pick something on the floor. You bend your body. So there is a bent figurine. You also have a dancing figurine. Sometimes during your, your KMS year in school, you dance during that time. So when you are dancing, another posture that you are taking. So during that time, you are dancing and you can also draw a figurine which is dancing. You can also draw that figurine which is dancing and you dress it according to the way the attire will be presentable. You also have a matching figurine. During the, the 11 February and the 20th May, some of you are always opportune to go to the field to do the mass patch. So during that time, you match when you are matching also, you can also draw a figurine which is matching. So here on the board, you will see how a figurine is matching. We have measurements and proportions in drawing figurines. If you are going to look at them. It is common to see students drawing very ugly figures or figures with improportionate parts. Sometimes you see somebody who draw a figurine, who not, if you look at it, it will not even look as, as it will not even resemble somebody. Sometimes it's because you have not followed the real uh, measurements very well. You have not followed the scale. You have not followed your table of measurements. You have not followed the way you are supposed to shape the figurine. So it is very important that we should follow the, the, the table of proportions when drawing our figurines, if it is a three-quarter view figurine, you make sure you draw it following the, the, the dimensions. You draw it following and you stand sometimes to look at your body if you can really draw what it is supposed to be done. So that you come out with the different part of the figurines as they are supposed to be. Let, let, not, have, let not be drawing it uh, maybe 27 centimeters figurine. Then you go and give it a very fat eye. So we have to consider all our proportions when we are drawing our figurines. I'm going to the introduction. In, in order to express your design, your design idea precisely, 
and to present them attractively, you need to develop your skills. You need to develop your skills when you are presenting your, your design ideas. You have to think, you have to memorize what you are about to draw. You develop your skills, you sketch them out, you sketch them, you memorize correctly the proportions, what you are about to draw. You should have confidence on yourself on what you are about to draw. You can sketch them, you look at the sketches, and then what do they have to draw? Maybe what they have asked you to draw. Maybe you are drawing a Christmas party where you sketch first of all. You think about your different colors that you are going to use. And from there now, with the full confidence that you have, you are going to come out with a very good figurine. So before you draw your figurine, you have to study it sketchily and you memorize correctly before you do the drawing proper. A figurine is a representation of person in drawing form. A figurine is the representation of a person in drawing form. When you draw your figurine and you finish it, you look at it and you really look like somebody. A figurine represents somebody. Let us take for instance that you are uh, dressing the figurine with a party wear or a wedding gown. Lady dress in a wedding gown, as we are talking about a female, a female figure right here. You will see that if you draw well, you will see that it really looks like somebody. It really look like somebody. So when you are drawing, you have to take care of all those things. So drawing, first of all, is done in a sketchy form. When you are drawing, you draw with a faint pencil. Draw very well with a faint pencil. Mean that when you are sharpening your pencils, our pencils, we have, we, we have the 2B pencil, we have the HB, we have the 2H too. So when we are drawing with the pencil, if you are using the routine pencils, we have the uh, 0.3 pencil, we have the 0.5. And 0.3 is, the, is a very, uh, the pencil that is not too thick. So if you use 0.3, you use this first of all to sketch your work. Use the 0.3 pencil to sketch your work so that when you want to erase it out, they, they, it will come out easily and the work will not be dirty. So the, the, when you finish now, you can use watercolor, ink, or you use crayons to do the finishing of your work. So it is very important. When you are doing the construction lines of your figure lines, it is always good for you to use a very faint pencil and you draw without printing. Always make sure you draw without printing so that when you finish, you'll be able to erase gently so that you can have good finished work. So I'm saying here that when you are finishing your work, you finish with watercolor. You can finish with ink or with crayons. We are going to the different views of figurines. There are so many views of figurines. But the main ones in the clothing industry are front view. As you see the figurine standing front view, the one you have there on the board is front view. You can fully see the eyes, all the eyes. You can see the breast in full. All the body parts are showing you correctly. You see everything. So that is a front view figurine you are seeing in front of you. Even you yourself, you if you stand up and you make the same, you stand the same with the same posture, you see that if when you stand the front view posture, you will be able to see all your body parts when somebody is looking at you, facing at you directly. So that is the front view figurine. So of you, when you are drawing your figurines, you are, you can even start, you make the stand up, you make that posture yourself and see actually what you are about to draw so that you come out with the right thing, come out with the correct figure that you are about to draw. Sometimes when we draw our figures, you, you may not even be able to stand like that posture. So it is always very important that when you are drawing something, you should stand, try to imitate, and make sure that what you are drawing is real. It should be real, it should be the actual thing that we are drawing because 
our definition show us that a figurine look like somebody. So when you present a figure, you should be able to stand like that. We also have a back view figurine. With a back view figurine, you are completely seeing just the back. You cannot, you are seeing her because you cannot see the, the, the front of the figurine. That's why they say the back view. So the construction also is different. You are seeing the construction and the shaping of the back view figurine. But this back view here, you can see how the, the figurine has been well shaped. A back view that has been dressed and the one that is just shaped. So it is very, very important for us to know these different views of the figurine in the clothing industry. It is very, very important. So all the time, any time that you are given a figurine to construct, if it is front view, you have to know the type of dress that you put it. If it is back view, you have to reason out and you memorize, as I earlier told you, on how you can present your, your dressing on that figurine without any problem. We also have the three-quarter view figurine. With the three-quarter view figurine, you can see that the face is not completely shown. The body is three-quarter, then the eye is three-quarter. One eye is full, while the other one is a little bit half. Even the mouth is the same thing. The mouth of the three-quarter view is not completely full. Even the body is three-quarter too, as you are looking at it on the board. So with the three-quarter view figurine, you can dress it with different attires that you like. Like what you have in front of you, you can see that one is a student. Maybe she's going to class. You can see how she's walking. So our figurines, you can dress them according to the different occasions. Here we also have the profile view figurine. Most of the times, when you ask students to present this profile view, they may not really know what it is talking about, but you are fortunate today to have it in front of you. The profile view figurine here, as you are seeing, you see that the figurine just shows half of the body. The figurine here, which is having the, the, the shape, the one that has been shaped, you can see that the eye is just half eye, half nose, half mouth, and the breast, you can see that you are seeing just one breast, the way it has been shaped. The other hand from behind is showing just a bit while you have a full hand this way. So it is showing you that the body is half. That's the profile view figurine. You can also see how it has been dressed. That profile view figurine can also be dressed. You can also put a dress on that profile view figurine. Presently, you are seeing that this one has been dressed with a beach wear. You can put on that attire to the beach. You can put it on and you swim. So, it is very important for us to know the different dressing of a figurine. We have the method of drawing figurines. Trace a medium and determine the height of the figurine. You trace a medium and you determine the height of the figurine, for example, if it is a 27 view figurine, you are going to frame your paper and then you look for the mid middle of that of the paper so that you can start constructing your figurine. If it is 27 centimeters, means that the height of your figurine is 27 centimeters. So you give it a height of 27 centimeters. Later on now, you divide that height by nine and indicate all the necessary indications. For example, we have the height, the neck, you have to indicate the head, you indicate the neck, you indicate the shoulder, you indicate the waist, the hip, etc. So when you construct your figurine, it is always very important to indicate all what is supposed to be there, like the head of the figurine, you divide it, you divide your measurements, you indicate where it is supposed to be, you indicate where the neck is supposed to be, you indicate where your shoulder is supposed to fall, where the waist is supposed to be, the hip, the legs, and so on. When you are doing this, you have to work with measurements. You work with measurements to obtain a real figurine. 
You are not, you cannot just sketch if you go rhyme without using measurements. If you actually want your work to come up properly, you have to use measurements to obtain a real figurine. The basic height of an adult figurine is 27 centimeters. The value of the elbow increases or decreases according to the base, which is 27. So we are getting that the, the basic height of the figurine is 27 centimeters. So on this construction lines, you are going to see what I, I just told you. That the height of the figurine is 27 centimeters. So you have it is divided, you have the head, you have the shoulder, you have the breast line, you have the waist, you have the hip, the thigh, the knees, and so on. So first of all, we have these construction lines. When you're about to construct your figure line, first of all, do these construction lines. You frame your drawing paper, you do the construction lines, you give it a height, and then you divide it to different parts. The height. The height is equal to the length, which is 27 centimeters divided by nine, which is three centimeters. We have also the name, which is half of the height, which is 1.5 centimeters, which means three centimeters divided by two, which is 1.5. We have the forearm, which is one equal to one head plus one seat, which is 6.5, which is equal to 3.5 centimeters. We have the arm, which is one head plus half head, which is three plus one, .5, which is 4.5 centimeters. We have the total length of the arm, which is two head plus two third head, which is six plus two, which is equal to eight centimeters. We also have the, the hand. The hand, which is two to third head. We have the tongue, which is one third head. We have the tight to third head. The leg, which is two, two head plus one, half head. We have the front view foot, which is one, which is half head. The profile view foot, which is equal to two, two head plus one seat head. The head width, which is equal to two, two third head. The neck width, which is equal to one third head. The shoulder width, one head plus two third head. The waist width, which is two third head. The hip width, which is one head plus one third head. The knee is the knee width is one third head and the ankle width is one seat head. The calf width two is one third head plus two centimeters. The ribs width is one seat head. The head of shoulder is one one third head. And with the head equal to head. So now we are going to move to. The measurement table. And on this measurement table, we are going to see the different sizes of figurines. We don't only have 27 centimeters. We have 27, we have 30 centimeters, we have 32, 34, and 36 centimeters figurine. So on the measurement chart here, you can see the head. The head of the 23 of the 27 centimeters, sorry, is 3 centimeters, while that of 30 centimeters is 3.3 centimeters. That of 32 is 3.5 centimeters. That of 34 centimeters is 3.7 centimeters. And 4 centimeters for 36 centimeters. We have the neck too, which the neck of 27 centimeters is 1.5, while that of 30 centimeters is 1.6. The neck of 32 is 1.7 centimeters. That of 1 of 34 is 1.8, while the neck of a 36 centimeters figurine is 4, is 2 centimeters, sorry. The arm, so looking at the table of measurement, all the different parts have their measurements. All the different parts, they have their me different measurements. So when you look at the thumb, the thumb of of a 27 centimeters is one centimeter. That of 30 is 1.5. The thumb of 
32 centimeters is 1.1 centimeters. That of 34 is 1.2, while 36 centimeters is 1.3 centimeters. So the total arm of the 27 centimeters is 8 centimeters. That of 30 is 8.8, .8, while 32 is 9.2 centimeters. 38 is 9.8, while that of 36 centimeters is 10.6 centimeters. We have also the length, the length of the, of the 27 centimeters is 7.5, while that of 30 centimeters is 8.2, that of 32 is 8.7, while 34 centimeters is 9.2, and 36 centimeters is 10 centimeters. We also have the length of the, the, the front foot, the front foot of the 37, of the 27 centimeters, sorry, is 1.5, 30 centimeters is 1.6, 32 is 1.7, 34, 1.8, and that of 36 is 2 centimeters. We have also the profile blue foot. As I talk about the different postures of the figurine, that is how their are different uh, measurements are calculated. So the profile view foot is 2.5 for 27 centimeters. 30 centimeters is 2.7. 32 centimeters is 2.8. 34 centimeters is 3, while 36 centimeters is 3.2 centimeters. We also have the width proportions. So it is the same thing like what I earlier said. So the width or size and the sizes, which are 27, 30, 32, 34, and 36 centimeters. Is what I earlier explained that the height of 27 is 2 centimeters, the height of 30 is 2.2, that of 32 is 2.2. We are talking about the width here, while the width of 32 is 2.2, that of 34 is 2.5, and the width of 36 is 2.6 centimeters. The neck of our the neck of our uh, twenty seven centimeters. That's the width of the neck is one point one centimeters. That of thirty, that of twenty seven is one centimeter. Thirty is one point one. Thirty two is one point one. Thirty four is one point two. While thirty six is one point three centimeters. The shoulder width. Is for the 27 centimeters is 5 centimeters. That of 30 is 5.3. Uh, that of 32 is 7 is 3 is 5.7. While 34 is 6.1. And that of 36 is 6.6 .6 centimeters. So the way I explain the, the, the height of the figurine, it is the same thing that goes with the width. So we are going to look at the drawing of the front view head figurine. You can see that the, diff, the, the posture of the front view, as I earlier explained, you can see the full eyes, you can see the full ears, you can see the nose, you see the mouth, the chin, as you can look at it and on the board. So that is our front view head figurine. We have the body of the front view. This is the body, this is how the body of the front view figurine look like. These are the construction lines. So now we have the construction line of the 27 centimeters figurine front view in full, as you can see it. So we have it, we have the head, we have the neck, we have the breast line, we have the waist line, we have the hip, we have the laps, the knee, as you can look at it. So we have the front view figurine. This one is the shape figurine. The front view figurine, which is shaped. You can see how when you shape it, you see the breast, you see the two breasts, you see all the body parts. So looking at all what we have done today on fashion design, 
we are going to have an assignment. I want to give people an assignment to make sure that you have understood this lesson. So using the 27 centimeters figurine, draw a front view figurine dressed in any outfit of your choice. I'm sure that earlier mentioned the different outfits. So I want us now to draw the, this front view figurine 27 centimeters using our table of measurement and dress it with any outfit that you like. So our next lesson will be on a male figurine. Una tege si ma tege yop, una tege minga ma tege nyum, una tege ma jang ma tege ndom, ma ne tambia ninya ne njubia yen, ngani bana ma tege mot, ngani la kiri wa tege ndong, eso kina bia dinki do, ma ne tambia ninya ne njubia yen, tam tam amote tam zabike, Tam tam a tonge tam zabike tam 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 a mote tam zabike mane tam bia ninya ne injo bia yen 